Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a playlist to the chat. To the chat. I can't talk. Um, okay, that's there for you. Today, 30 minute gluten core. Definitely for sure more of a focus on your glutes. Please keep in mind that your core is involved in all of this though. Okay, so core is on in all of our hip thrust. It's on in all of our single leg posted whatever uh, deadlifts. So yeah, core is always on. Um, in terms of intensity, if you want this to be on the same level as all the other workouts this week, go heavy, okay? Because on their own, these movements um, are almost, they could be body weight based, right? But if you want to really kind of up level, go ahead and add some significant weight, okay? Never feeling it in your back, always staying really, really connected to your body and trying to get your glutes to stay fired up, okay? Card for today is, I will give birth to every divine purpose placed in my heart and embody everything that I was created to be. I like that one. That's very good. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds on the clock. We will be in a band for all of our warm-up. So if you have a hip sling, go ahead and grab that. We're going to be placing it above the knees and we will be on the floor. We're actually going to start with core work here first. And so what we're going to do is a banded dead bug. Beginners stay in just a static dead bug. Anyone who feels a little bit more experienced with a dead bug, you can go into dead bug, dead bug march. We take off in four, three. Remember with dead bug, our back is flat to the floor. Two and one. So pelvic floor is lifted. You've got a nice flat back to the floor. Your ribs are knit together. Beautiful. You're drawing your hip bones together. This is a starting position. For anyone who wants a little extra, try to leave one leg still as you put the other heel to the floor and then bring it back. Inhaling the heel to the floor, exhale and pull back. Inhale the heel to the floor, exhale, pull back. Really trying to separate that band. We have three, we have two, and we have one. We flip on over. We're going into fire hydrants. Quadruped position. We will exhale and lift and separate. Two, here we go, exhale, lift and separate. Inhale down, other side, alternating as you go through your fire hydrants here. Make sure you're not bringing any unnecessary tension to your shoulders, right? Keep those shoulders drawn down the back. Excellent. For a fully functioning core unit, you should also have this part of your body on. It's the sides of your box. Right? We think of the core, three, two, and one. We think of the core from here is a box, right? And so you want the sides of your box nice and tight. Feet together, I'll go this way. Bridge with feet together, spread the band, squeeze and lift. We've done this only one other time. So feet are together, but our knees are driving way, way out. Excellent. Squeeze and lift. I'm sliding. <laughs> Push the whole foot into the floor. Push, excellent. We have 12 more seconds left right here. This is the third piece of our warm up. So we'll go through these movements, these three movements, two more times. Three, we have two, and one. Dead bug, I'm gonna come up into it a little early. Again, back is flat to the floor. <sighs> Shoulders driving into the floor. We have three, two, here we go. Either static position, or you can go ahead and do those heel taps. <sighs> Excellent. Try to maintain a 90 degree angle. Add that knee joint. Excellent. See if you can feel, if you're doing those heel taps, can you feel your glute work to separate that band while you anchor the other leg in place? Beautiful. Back is staying glued to the floor. Fully functioning core unit. Your inner corset is drawn in nice and tight. We have three. We have two. And one. Coming on over. Fire hydrant. Knees right underneath your hips, hands right underneath your shoulders. Three, two, here we go. Exhale, lift, inhale down. <sighs> nice. Can you prevent yourself from shifting too far into either side? Can you keep yourself nice and stable <sighs> through the center? Excellent work. <sighs> Belly pulls in. <sighs> Again, sides of your box right in here, so your lats <sighs> and your serratus. Specifically more so your serratus, as we're pushing down into the floor, are fired up. Two, 
and one, feet together, close position with the feet, band is going to stay spread as much as you can, three, two, here we go, squeeze and lift, control it down, squeeze, control, so we really want to focus on a posterior pelvic tilt to the top and then think of keeping that posterior pelvic tilt as you roll down, squeeze and lift, and a posterior pelvic tilt, just to review, is the position of your pelvis. So when we scoop like this, that is a posterior position. If we were to tuck or to bring our tail the other way, stick our sits bones out, that would be anterior two and one dead bug. Come into it early if you'd like. When the clock starts, we've got 30 seconds in three, in two. Here we go. Inhale the heel towards the floor. Exhale, pull it back. Nice job. Drive the shoulders into the floor so that you're not elevated. You've got your whole entire back pressing into the floor. Inhale the heel towards the floor. Exhale, pull. If you are staying in the static position, see if you can spread that band and just get a little bit of glute activation in there while you're still working your core. Three, two, and one. Ooh, those cheeks burn. Fire hydrants. Shoulders right over the wrists, knees right under your hips. Three, two, here we go. Exhale, lift and separate, inhale back down. Beautiful. Can you keep your spine nice and long? Can you keep your hips square? Can you keep your arms nice and straight? Try not to collapse. You're so strong. These movements seem minimal and so easy. <laughs> but if we really concentrate, we can get so much out of it. <sighs> nice job, we have three, we have two, and one. Ooh, my booty. All right, bridge, feet together. We go in, four, three, two. Here we go, really massively spread that band. Push your whole foot into the earth. <sighs> nice job, squeeze and lift, control back down. Nice, excellent. <sighs> Beautiful work. Squeeze and lift and control back down. Squeeze and lift and control back down. <sighs> Excellent. Hup. Nice job. We have three. We have two. And we have one. Perfect. I'm realizing in my programming, I made a little bit of a, we won't call it a mistake, but we're going to improve it on the spot right here. So if you've got a step, you're going to bring that up. We're going to be doing banded. We're going, to, we're going to be doing banded shoulder elevated hip thrust for 45 seconds. We will then go onto our onto our backs for a flat banded weighted hip thrust, and then we will go into a little bit of core work. We'll do those three movements three times, 45 seconds on, 10 seconds only, as we transition. Now, usually that leaves us with very, very little time to transition, so just do the best you can. Try to move nice and quickly, okay? All right, so, band will be on. Feet can be hip width apart. We'll be shoulder elevated, so the, the, the box should be kind of right at the base of your scapula, okay? Very, very important you keep your core on the entire time. Okay, strong posterior pelvic tilt to the top. We take off. In. Three. In two. And here we go. Squeeze and lift. Control it back down. Keep that band separated. Nice job. Posterior pelvic tilt. Squeezing up to the top. Push your whole foot into the earth. These again don't need to be fast. I want you to stay as connected to your glutes as you possibly can. 20 seconds left right here. Push. Control it down. Big push. And control down. Nice job. The next movement, we slide right to our box on the floor, keeping the weight, if possible, and the band. We have five. We have three. We have two. And one. Coming right onto your back. Feet are hip width apart. We take off in three, two. Here we go. Squeeze and lift and control back down. 
Again, posterior pelvic tilt all the way to the top, hiding your ribs. Don't let those knees tip in. Keep spreading that band as much as you can. Nice job. Exhale as you thrust. Inhale, back down. Exhale up. Inhale, back down. Very, very good. Push, push, push. Nice. We have 18 seconds left. We will be going into dead bug with a weighted overhead pull. Choose a weight that is suitable for you. We're trying to keep our back flat to the floor. Option to put the feet on the floor, but keeping the back flat. Three, two, and one. So our movement, we're here. Knees are up if possible. We inhale overhead, exhale and pull. We take off in three, two, and here we go. Inhale overhead, the weight does not need to touch the floor. You're trying to keep the back flat to the floor. Exhale as you pull. Inhale overhead. Exhale. Pull. Again, option to keep those feet flat on the floor and do the movement from there while keeping the back flat. Still in an active core position. Beautiful work. Really trying to target into your core and your lats. Nice job. You have 12 more seconds. Inhale overhead. Big exhale, pull. Again, inhale. We have three, two, and one. I'll quickly transition back. Going into shoulders elevated, hip thrust. In three, two, here we go. Squeeze and lift, control back down. Squeeze and lift, and control. Up, control. Up, very, very good. Push. Nice. Can you keep your glutes on the entire time? Push through a nice, strong, flat foot. Hup. Control the down. And perhaps power up. So good. Can you spread that band any further? Beautiful. The burn. Yes. Come on. We got it. Nice job. We have six. Coming to our backs. Flat on the floor. Three. Two and one. Flat to the floor, hip thrust. Feet hip width apart. Three, two, here we go. Squeeze and lift, control back down. Squeeze and lift and control. Nice work. Can you relax the shoulders down the back? Can you allow the weight to sit heavily as it is on its own on your pelvic area? Again, don't let it hurt you. So if it's hurting the pubic bone, bring it to the soft tissue right above, which isn't really soft because the core is on. Beautiful, but we don't need it resting directly on bone. And if that's the case, you can always put a pillow down or a folded mat or a towel just to protect yourself. Squeeze and lift, come on. We've got this, push, three, two, Oh, one, the burn is so real. Damn. All right, dead bug. Feet can be flat or legs can be up. Three, two, here we go. Inhale overhead with control. Strong exhale and pull. See if you can have the lowering phase towards the floor. Be very slow in comparison to the pull up to the top. Inhale and overhead. Strong exhale. Again, inhale with control, lowering with control. Exhale, pull. Inhale, big exhale, come up. Again, inhale overhead. Exhale, pull. We're almost there, we gotta get through one more round, come on. Pull, so good, hug those shoulders down. Let's go, three, we have two, and one. Quick transition, come on. Make it happen. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Good. Feet are flat. Strong thrust to the top. Control it back down. Push and control. Hide your ribs to the best of your ability. What does that mean? Well, it's the knitting of those lower ribs. It's also direct correlation to the position of your spine and usually your pelvis. If you are in a posterior tilt, 
It's almost more natural to knit those ribs. If you're in an anterior tilt, it's the exact opposite. Beautiful. Ten more seconds. Push. Very good. Come on. We have four. Three. We have two. And one. Beautiful. Moving flat to the floor. In. Three. Two. Here we go. Squeeze and lift. And control. Squeeze and control. Beautiful. Up. Fire it up. This is your last time with this one. Can you move smooth and efficiently and powerfully to the top, controlling back down, always trying to spread the band, always trying to stay in posterior pelvic tilt so that lower core is fully engaged and then knitting your lower ribs. You've got this. Come on. Push. Beautiful. Come on. Hup. So close. Belly stays tight and firm. Hup. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Just our overhead pulls. We take off. In three, two. Here we go. Inhale overhead. Strong exhale and pull. Beautiful work. Come on. Again, legs don't have to be up. I actually prefer it myself with my feet flat to the floor. It allows me to focus a little bit more on correct muscle recruitment because then I'm not worried about kind of tipping back or allowing my knees to tip back. Okay, I'm feeling really, really strong. I go ahead and lift those knees. But as I fatigue, I keep them flat. Come on. We got this. Strong inhale overhead. Exhale, pull. We have one more. Come on, three, two, and one. Very good. Okay. We get to move on. Hell yes. Nice work. Quick sip of water. Somebody asked me uh, in direct messages the other day, Lindsay, shout out to Lindsay, what my pink drink is. And it's branch chain amino acids. I like now sports, um, but that's what this is. So if you're ever wondering. And if I'm coming from a hike, I also throw in a noon tablet or Ultima. Okay, I'm going to lower this. And what we're going to be doing, no band, we're going to go into alternating foot elevated single leg glute bridge. I have a dog here in my mouth. So you want to be in fairly close. From here, we thrust, put the foot down, thrust, put the foot down. Now, if you want, you could put two dumbbells or one weight right on your hips. I would say go light if you're doing that. Maybe perhaps even try no weight on the first round. We're then gonna go right into dead bug shin taps. So we exhale up, inhale back. Exhale up, inhale back. Try not to move the knees closer or further away from us. We will then go into a 45 second isometric foot elevated weighted hold. Okay. All right. Fun times coming up right here. Taking off. So if you're using weight, start light. You want to be able to make sure your hips are square the whole time. Taking off in three, two, here we go. I'd say try to power up and then control down. You're still trying to hide your ribs. Push. Good. The knee can come towards the face. That does help. It provides a bit of extra power, a little bit more cohesion in this movement. Push, push, push. Come on, can you keep your hips level? Excellent. How fast can you get up while keeping everything nice and tight? And then control it down. Beautiful. We have 12 more seconds left. Push. Push that foot down into your step. We have four, three, two, and one. So dead bug position. Arms extend out. We're going to lift our head, taking an inhale. Lift the head, exhale, and tap. Inhale back, exhale, tap. So these are not meant to be any faster than the pace of your breathing. Your exhale takes you up. Your inhale brings you back. 
Exhale, brings you up. Inhale, brings you back. Can you tap mid calf? Can you tap mid shin? We have 25 seconds. Other important piece, when you come back, can you keep your back flat? Try not to let that natural arch come back in. Keep everything pulled in nice and tight. We have 12 more seconds. Very good, come on. We have eight. Those are getting hard. <laughs> Come on, three, two, and one. Band goes on. Feet elevated, weighted, isometric. So static hold. We take off in three, two. We're up and hold. 45 seconds right here, allowing the weight to be nice and heavy on the hips. Spread that band as much as you can. Beautiful. Pushing straight down into your step. Connecting with your glutes. If you feel it a lot in your quads, play around with the distance from your step. 18 seconds left. Beautiful, spread that band. So, so good. You have 10. Concentrate, push, 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 push. We have five, four, three, two, and one. If you'd like to, you can try to leave the band on for this next round of single leg bridges. We go in three, two, here we go. It will definitely add a little resistance. Beautiful, still keeping hips square. Strong, powerful push down into your step. Nice job. Come on, beautiful. Nice job. You have 23 seconds left. Strong separation. Control it back down. Strong up. Control. Nice job. Here we are. We have 12 more seconds. Come on. Hide the ribs. Beautiful. Up. Nice job. Come on. We have three. We have two. And one. Again, if the band is on, just leave it on. Getting ready for dead bug shin taps. Three, two, here we go. Exhale and reach. Inhale back. Can you look at your belly and see that when you lift to reach, the belly is staying pulled in. It's not pushing and pressing out. It's not about, I know I'm having you look at your belly. It's not about judgment. It's not about us. Aesthetics, it's about seeing the function of your core. Ideally, we want it to function by contracting and pulling in, a contraction that pulls in as opposed to bulging out. If it's bulging out, we just need to work a little bit more on connecting to the transverse abdominis. That is the sensation, that's the muscle that helps us pull in. Three, two, and one. Weighted hip thrust, sorry. Isometric. And this time I'm going to add in little pulses so it's not exactly isometric. So, top of the position, little lower and squeeze. Little lower, squeeze. Tiny lower, squeeze. Beautiful. I feel a little far. So I'm going to scoot in a little closer. There we go. Nice. 30 seconds. When I say little lower, it's like an inch down and then squeeze back up. Keeping that band separated. 22 seconds, beautiful, push and push, squeeze, 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 come on, ribs are knit, yes, let's go, 10 more seconds, beautiful, you have three, you have two, and one, I'm going to be crazy and I'm going to try to do this next one with weight and the band, we'll see, three, Two, here we go. Oh, that's different. That's an option. You need to level up. You can try it. Come on. Push. Make sure you're not compensating. That you're staying very in control of your body. Ribs are knit. Posterior pelvic tilt. Core is fired up. Beautiful. Nice work. Push. Yes, 15 seconds. Dead bug chin taps are next. Come on. Push, push, push. Yes. 
Control back down, smooth lift, control back down. Exhale, as you come up, inhale back down. Nice work. Nice, 20 seconds left, come on. Pull those knees in, don't let them drift away. Exhale up, nice Meredith, very good. Nice Sam, come on, seven seconds. Up for three. Up for two, and one final round with weight, isometric or pulse. You get to choose. Three, two, here we go. Oops, I was doing full range. My bad. Little pulses. Excellent. Again, either pulse or stay static. Keep yourself in that posterior pelvic tilt. Come on, we got this. Almost there. 24 seconds remaining. Up, up, come on. 16 seconds, spread that band. Connect to your glutes, let's go. Push, up, push, up. Nice. You have three, you have two, and one. Perfect work. Okay, so the final piece that we are going to get through today is going to be Tabata timing, but it is not for speed. Okay, can't stress that enough. It's not for speed. You are going to be doing either single leg deadlift or posted deadlift. The difference being posted, the back leg stays on the floor for support. Okay, we will do its opposite hand. Actually, yeah, let's do opposite. We'll do opposite hands today, okay? So we're here. If you're doing deadlift style, leg lifts, and we go through 20 seconds on one side, 20 on the other, four rounds, and we wrap. All right? Oh, man. Doesn't look like we'll get four rounds, but we'll see. First side, starting on the left leg, weight in the right. Three, two, here we go. Excellent. So we just spent... Nearly 30 minutes warming up, basically, for this movement right here. I want you to feel this in your ass <laughs> as much as possible. Keep your shoulder pulled back. Three, two, and one. Lost my balance on that last one. Eight seconds, starting up. Right leg, left hand. Three, two, here we go. Notice if you feel more connected on one side of the body than the other. If that is the case, I recommend playing around on the side that you don't feel as connected to. Try to explore, figure that out. Three, two, and one. The more you explore, the more connected to your body you will be. Your body is your biggest, bestest tool. We want to know it inside and out. Three, two, here we go. Hip hinge, strong pull. Hip hinge and strong pull. Again, if you're doing posted, that back foot is down, you're sitting the hips back. Excellent. Knee stays back. We have five. We have four. Three, two, and one. Switching sides. You can do a combo of these moves too. Okay, you don't need to stay on just one path. Three, two, here we go. Hip hinge, strong pull. Hip hinge, strong pull. Everything throughout the body is turned on. Your core, shoulders are set. Calf is working, toes are gripping. We have five, we have three, we have two, and one. We're gonna make it through, we're gonna do it. Two more rounds, four, three, two. Here we go, hip hinge, strong pull. Again, strong, stable hip hinge. 
big pull to the top. Hips are square. Belly is drawn in nice and tight. We have eight more seconds right here. Come on. <sighs> Try not to let that right shoulder stay relaxed. Get it pulled back. Three, we have two. And one. <sighs> right leg, left hand. Almost through four, three, two. Here we go. Strong hip hinge. Big pull to the top, softening that right leg as you lower down. Allowing the knee to track back though, not so far forward. We have 10 seconds left. Nice work, come on. We have three, we have two. One, one more each side. Six, five, four, come on, three, two, here we go. Hip hinge and big pull. Beautiful. Come on. You are strong. You are capable. You got this. Ten more seconds. Hip, shoulders square. Come on. You have three. You have two. And one. Holy burn. Six seconds. Four. Three. Two. Here we go. Come on. You got this. Everything stays drawn in nice and tight towards that midline. 10 more seconds. We have five. We have three. We have two. And one. So good. That is it for our strength today. We're going to go into it again. Thursdays always have to be a shorter stretch, a five minute stretch. I'm going to stay right on my step. If you need to leave, awesome. You can do so. Sitting on the step, this feels really, really low. But we're going to go into a seated figure four. And that burns so, so badly. Options. Seat could be a little higher so that your hip is the same height as your knee. Another option is you can come down to the floor, hands behind you, trying to sit up nice and tall. So many different ways to do figure four. This is just one example. Excellent. I'm going to come back up to my step. We have 20 seconds left right here. Try to sit up as tall as you can. Flex the right toes. Excellent. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, switching sides. This one's not going to be as pretty for me. <laughs> Pulling that left leg up to the top of the right knee. Woohoo! That's some tightness. Sitting up as tall as you can. Assisting the left foot with the hand, of, with the right hand. Pulling those toes back. Again, sitting up as tall as you can. Trying not to be in a rounded position. <sighs> Bit of an anterior tilt to the pelvis here. We've got about 20 more seconds right here. Keep working it. Try not to become passive. So awareness of where the stretch is. Awareness of what your body is feeling. Awareness of your breath. We're here for four, for three, for two, and one. We're going to be coming onto our hands and knees. Now we're going to take the right foot, thread it through uh, in front of the left knee. Couldn't talk there for a second. And kind of turn the feet out slightly. From here, you're going to try your best to sit on back. And you will be getting a stretch. For me right now, it's specifically in my left hip. It could be your right. I just want you to explore. There should be no pain especially throughout the joints. Just hopefully a nice, deep, beautiful stretch. Some people would be able to sit all the way down on the floor. <laughs> Clearly that is not the case for me. Listen to your body and kind of work the back side of that hip, flossing a little side to side. Getting curious about what you're feeling, exploring it. 
does a different position with your hands change what you feel? So I just brought my hands over to the right and that feels so, so good in the left hip. Makes me curious, what is it going to feel like if I bring my hands over to the left? Hmm, my hips shift and maybe now I start to feel it more on my right. We're here for 10 more seconds. Exploring as you will. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming on up, other side. Bringing that left knee through, left foot through. Ooh, there was my toenail. And as you're comfortable, sitting on back. Seeing if you can replicate the sensation on the other side of the body. Excellent. Letting the hips be nice and heavy. Mm, that feels so, so good. Again, getting curious, exploring the sensations that you are feeling, seeing if you can exaggerate them a little bit. Or maybe you don't need to. Maybe they're already heightened enough. For me, I'm going to again explore, reaching to the opposite side. Oh, that feels so, so good. <laughs> so good. Beautiful. We're here for 20 seconds, wherever it is that you would like to be. For 10, for 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one coming up and out. We're going to just finish with a couple cat cows. Again, this is a nice short stretch for today. Inhaling, letting the belly drop towards the floor. Sit bones reach, chest opens. Exhale, push into the floor. Shoulder blades separate. Inhale, extend. Exhale, push and flex. Two more. Inhale, extend, letting those sit bones open up. Exhale. Push and flex. One more big inhale. Reach and lengthen. Exhale. And round. Final push back into either child pose or happy puppy. Moving as you will or settling into stillness. We're here for 20 seconds. Acknowledge the work that you did today the connection that you form to your body, the beautiful thing that it is. It's funny to realize that our bodies are just forms amongst so many other forms in life, and form is not who we are. It's wild to think that. Nice job. We are wrapping up here. Wonderful job today. Again, these stretches on Thursdays are a little short. Feel free to continue to stay in it. So good to see you. Have a great day.